The record number of students that graduate from boot camps and can't find a job is astonishing. This shit is scary. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Please subscribe and show me some love in the comment sections. But yeah, man, let's talk about this topic, man. You know, most boot camps cost anywhere from $7,000 all the way to $25,000. And they promise to get you into a fan company a $100,000 plus salary uh, working for a company doing the most popular stacks. You know, back in 2011, 2012, it was Ruby on Rails. Nowadays is the Mern stack. And this is what every single bootcamp shows. Now, what's really happening right now is that there's a lot of people that know the same stack. And also, too, a lot of these companies that are hiring for the stacks, they're hiring people with experience. And they have a whole bunch of candidates with experience because, remember, people got laid off the last two years. So now, where does that leave a boot camp graduate? Well, it basically leaves them in the air. You know, just last night we had an accountability meeting and we actually talked to a couple of new students that came to codingphase.com. And the majority of them have been going to boot camps, right? They're putting their last dime, they're putting their hopes into a boot camp because, again, it's a great selling point. Hey, we could get you into a $100,000 job, right? Um, but what's happening to them is that they're leaving the boot camps with the basic knowledge of web development. And then they're not prepared for actually getting their first job because they don't have a good portfolio. They don't have solid projects that shows the skills that they have as developers. They just basically know the basic stuff that you will learn even here on YouTube for free. Now, a lot of times when you graduate from these boot camps, you know, they give you a pat in the back or they'll tell you, hey, you could be a TA, which is like a teacher assistant, which basically just means you work within the boot camp. But when you go in to apply to companies, that's not really work experience that you helped other people learn how to center a div. That doesn't count as experience. OK, so they're having a really hard time finding a job out here okay so what can they do better right they need to learn practical skills they need to learn the skills that will get you into your first job you need to focus on things that basically people don't really know about i mean i had a student that came in and told me that he asked one of the uh, teachers or you know instructors at, at one of these boot camps if they knew what email development was which is kind of ridiculous the person said no I don't even know what that is and it's like if you worked in the industry you know what email development is okay it, it's just a red flag like if you don't know about that like what companies have you worked for um and and, and it's just weird now again I do believe that, you know, most of the students, they have the skills to get a job. It's just not the job that the boot camps told them that they're going to be able to get. OK, because if you don't have experience and those companies are not willing to hire you and give you the experience and give you the training that you need to get you up to speed. What do you do? You have to go in and start looking at other alternative ways of working within the industry. I always mention this, right? There's web administrator, content editor, webmaster. There's a whole bunch of job titles that someone with the basic knowledge of web development can actually get hired for. But you also need to have the extra skills that come with that, that you're going to need for the job. Things like how to use a CMS system, right? You have the most popular ones, which is WordPress, Shopify. Um, if you're doing email development, you need to learn about Klaviyo, MailChimp. You need to know about Salesforce. So again, these are things that they don't tell them about in the boot camps because it's so much easier to show them, hey, this is what they're hiring at. 
xyz.com and they're paying $150,000 and they sort of train you for that job, but they don't tell you that you're going to need experience. You're going to need all of this extra work experience to be able to get that job because the market is, is too, it's too, not saturated. I don't want to say the word saturated. It's just like, there's not enough jobs for the amount of people that have those skills. So you have to look for alternative ways. It's not late, right? If you're watching this and you're feeling at home like, man, this sucks. I can't get in. I'm not getting no interviews. Guys, there's a solution to that, okay? You can go in and learn other skills that will help you become more attractive to small to medium-sized businesses. This is a thing that a lot of people don't talk about. Even the boot camps don't talk about is that most of the time, the people that's going to give you your, your big break to get into the companies and to the industry, it's really small businesses, okay? If you go in and you take your time, I want you guys to do this. Go on LinkedIn, search software engineer, search web developer, right? And you're going to notice that most of the people that are working today, they started as smaller companies. Yes, there's some guys that go in and work at Google straight out of college, right? Or did an internship at Microsoft. But usually what you're going to notice is they're going to Ivy League schools. They're going to really good state universities. And guess what? You are a boot camp graduate. You have the same background as someone who went to Udemy, who went on YouTube, who went to any of these platforms that's out here, okay? You trying to base your results of somebody that went to a top university, it's not going to be the same. So you have to go in and look at everybody else that has gone into the industry and see how did they do it, okay? We're back to square one, guys. We're no longer in the frenzy of 2021, 2022, where people are getting hired like crazy, right? And just like giving opportunities, even if they didn't even have the skills for it. Right now, we're back to like 2017 days, 2018, 2015, 2016, where literally you have to build yourself up. You have to start at a small business to medium-sized business and then start your career from there, right? It could be a 65 to 85K job the following year. Now you go in and you apply to a bigger role or a bigger company. That's just how it's always been. All right. But you can definitely do it. Do not give up. Do not feel like, man, this boot camps lied to you. This doesn't like don't go into that mindset because then you, you can't really think you can't really find a solution to the problem. So this is what I'm going to go in and, and recommend to you guys. Right. So you could go in and learn anywhere you want. Right. I'm going to recommend that you go to codingphase.com because this is what we do. We focus on helping people get into the game with realistic plans, right? We get people who are truck drivers, freaking Uber delivery drivers, like literally uh, guys working for Amazon, guys working in warehouses, like, you know, telecommunication, you know, customer service people, like nurses, like teachers, like we've gotten regular folks into the industry with the strategies that we work on on codingphase.com because it works, okay? We're not trying to sell you a dream. We're trying to get you results and looking at what's happening in the market and helping you go in and learn those skills. So you could come to codingphase.com and sign up and literally we're going to go in and get you results, okay? Um, now, of course, you if you say, hey, man, Joe, I don't even want to sign up for anything. I don't trust nothing out here. I'm, I'm giving up right? Then look at my curriculum. Look at what we teach. My curriculum is there, okay? Everything is on codingphase.com. You can look at what we have there, all right? You can go in and see what's the order of things that you need to learn, what are the things that we are providing, and then, you know, you learn it wherever the hell you want to learn it. Now, um, I do recommend to come to Coding Phase because I'm going to help you out directly. I'm going to be the one freaking giving you the projects, reviewing your portfolio, um, checking your, your resume, making sure that we're giving you the tools so you could go in, get through the ATS bots, right? We're even searching for jobs for you. Okay. And giving it to you and saying, Hey, these are the jobs that you need to be applying to. 
so you don't waste time. You're not out here just trying to do this blindly. You have a team behind you. All right. Now, of course, you could continue doing whatever you've been doing and keep trying that. See how it goes. And if in six months you're still not having results, hey, Poppy's still going to be here and I'm going to give you a hug and I'm going to welcome you back into the community and say, hey, man, welcome home. You get what I'm saying? Try whatever it is that you need to try, right? But always remember that if you go to codingphase.com, I'm going to go in and help you out. Now, again, like I said, you have to come in with this mindset of these are the different ways of getting in, okay? And that's what you care about. Initially, when you get in your first job, the job title is irrelevant. What's relevant is the experience that you have and the company that's on your resume. Like I'll give you a great example. I had a student that came in earlier in the year, right? Um, basically around December, right? But really started taking it serious in January, recently got hired for a big entertainment company. Now, from there, he's already been working a month and a half, two months, and he's continuing to apply to jobs. And because he already has that on his resume, and what he's doing is content managing, basically uh, managing the website for that company. And, you know, of course, using HTML, CSS, some JavaScript here and there, right? But because he's part of the mix, he's already getting calls for companies as a front-end developer, right? So there are strategies that work. So you cannot just go in and give up. I get it, right? It gets crazy because you pay so much money for a boot camp and you pay so much money uh, to get results. And then when you come out here to the real world, it's like they just give you a pat in the back and say, hey, man, keep applying. But it's like you're not even getting calls. You're not even getting people to go in and interview you. You're not even getting any traffic to your website. They don't even tell you about how to track you know, when people go to your website, they don't even do any of those things, right? There's so many different things that you guys are missing. It's crazy. Again, I just want you guys to know that if you're watching this right now, don't give up. You have skills. You're going to get into the game, okay? But you have to change your strategy, okay? This is not 2021, 2020, 2022. People were getting higher left and right. We're back to basics. The market is literally correcting itself from all the hype. And now it's back to what can you do for me? Companies don't have the budget to go in and hire you and then train you on everything that they need you to do. They need you to hit the ground running. Maybe you're not ready to be doing full stack development. Maybe you're not ready to be doing, uh, you know, complex applications where React and connecting to APIs and a whole bunch of other stuff that comes with it, right? But you are ready to start working on building pages, to manage a website, to make sure the products are listed properly on a page, that if they have a blog, the articles are formatted properly, that if... You know, there's a company that maybe uh, they release news that it's going to the right uh, people, that if they're sending out emails, it's going to the right users and the right, you know, uh, email list, right? There's a whole bunch of things that you can do with the skills you have, but you have to change your strategy, all right? So again, guys, I just want to put out this message out there because I see a lot of people going through this stuff and there's a lot of you guys that are almost this close from giving up. You don't have to give up, man. You just need the extra help and the extra guidance that the boot camp didn't provide for you. They just gave you the basic knowledge and then give you that pat on the back and say, good luck, fly little bird. But guess what? Some people need that guidance and that steps, right? And someone to hold their hand through the whole process from getting the skills to applying to jobs to searching for the jobs to then from there going to the interviews and what happens after that. Okay, so if you're looking for that, definitely go check out codingphase.com. Links in the description. I think it's, it's very important that people just have this information that, yes, there's other ways of getting into the industry. And the skills that you have, you could repackage them up 
and then from there get in and you're still going to do front end and you're still going to do full stack. But now you're coming in with experience in a big company on your resume that says, hey, this guy was part of the marketing team. This part was part of the development team. This guy was the Derek Fisher of Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? You got to get in. That's what's important. All right, guys. So yeah, man, leave a comment on below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm leaving this video just like this. I'm not editing anything. Uh, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, and definitely leave some questions on the comment section so I could go in and answer them and create videos for you guys in here on YouTube. By the way, check out this video if you really want to get a job this year and your life depends on it. This is the video that I recommend to every single one of you guys to watch. All right, see you guys later.